this morning and I've battled him all the day long but in my weakness God sent reinforcement and at sundown I sing victory songs and the sun's coming up
Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Julie, want you to say something for the Lord, huh? Amen. Amen. Somebody else tonight. Got a testimony, song? I read in the Bible how yeah. God so loved him. Bless you, Tom. And his son die in our place. Pay the price for our sins on the old cross of Calvary. Praise the Lord. For his marvelous grace. Thank God. Thank God. There's a bridge over the river. And we'll see our Redeemer sweet. Yes. Amen, Brother Tommy. With him we shall reign there forever. Thank the Lord. For his marvelous grace. Yes. I read where he said, Let your heart not be troubled. For I go to prepare you a place. Amen. Read the gold gates of pearl and its walls are of jasper. Thank the Lord. Oh, yeah. For his marvelous <laughs> grace. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. There's a bridge or the river. And we'll see our Redeemer, sweet face. Yes, bless his name. Him we shall reign there forever. Thank the Lord for his marvelous <laughs> Amen. Amen. Amen, Brother Tommy. Praise the Lord. That's good, wasn't it? Is you going to sing one, Brother Daniel? Well, nothing like that grace, is it? No. The well, Bible says we be led of the Spirit, we're not under the law. Right. Woo! Well, I won't be under the law to you, Brother Jack. No, I don't. No. Well, well, that's what the problem is. Amen. I'm no singer, though. I want to bless the good Lord, don't you, Brother yeah. Rick? No. That's how we get her blessed. Yeah. If you're in the battle for the Lord and right, keep on the far of life. Amen. If you win, my brother, you must surely fight. Keep on the far of life. They are many dangers that we all must face. If we die fighting, it is no disgrace. Right, Daniel. Early in the service, he'll find no place. So keep on the far of life. <laughs> Amen. Against all evil. Never run, nor even lay behind. If you would win for God in the right, just keep on the far line. God will only use a soldier he can. Keep on the far line. Amen. If you wear a crown that bear the cross, you must keep on the far line. Life is but the labor for the master dear. Yeah, but blend the sequel and to spread you. Bless you, Daniel. Greatly you'll be rewarded for your service here. So keep on the foreign line. Amen. You must fight and brave against all evil. Never run nor even like behind. If you would win for God in the right, just keep on the far line. Amen. When we get to heaven, brother, we'll be glad. Keep on the far line. How we praise the Savior for the call we had. Keep on the far line. When we see the souls we've helped to win. Leading them to Jesus from the past of sin. With a shout of welcome, we'll all march in. So keep on the far of line. You must fight and pray against all evil. Amen. Never run even like behind. If you would win for God in the right, just keep on the far of line. Amen. That's good, Daniel. Where's that been all these years? That's good. I think I ever heard you sing before. That's wonderful. Anybody else tonight? All right, let me preach about four hours. If you have your Bible, turn to the book of Jonah. Amen. The book of Jonah tonight. Praise the Lord. 
I've been excited about being here. I knew the uh, uh, crowd would be off a little bit due to people in the hospital and things, but I've been excited to be here tonight. Didn't know what the Lord was going to give us to preach, but uh, uh, still don't know much about it. We'll just trust in the good Lord. And uh, Jonah chapter number two, very familiar scripture tonight. And uh, we want to look at this tonight. And uh, how many of you remember me telling you that uh, as a pastor and a leader of the church that uh, I try to read the Bible every day of my life and uh, I try to study the New Testament uh, to bring and produce what's in this New Testament into the church of Christ that we may be that body uh, that the Bible talks about, that uh, body that's in Christ Jesus to be able to see the mercy miracles of God done to see all that and um, uh, what I'm going to preach on tonight a lot of folks ain't very uh, they, they're, they just, it just don't seem like they like it and I don't know why because uh, it's a, it's a, one of the greatest things in the world well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preach about praising the Lord tonight amen I'm going to preach about praising the Lord now um, if uh, you've got to have somebody that's a cheerleader amen that's uh, coaxing you in to it. If you got to have somebody like that, me and you both know, amen, you're just, you're following what the man says to do. You're following what the woman says to do. That's not what God's looking for. Amen. But if you could see tonight the importance of what it means to worship the Lord and to praise God tonight, I believe, including myself, that every one of us would want to be more vocal. Amen. We would want to be more uh, uh, moving in the house of the Lord. A lively stone. Something that's lively is, amen, I've got a, a Addison's the liveliest grand young and I got. I mean, she won't sit still. <laughs> amen. I mean, she's a running to here, running to there. And uh, that's uh, that ought to way to be the child of God. Uh, ought to be tonight. What if I told you the thing that you've been praying about so long? Amen. If it depended on your worship tonight? What if God and God would answer that for you tomorrow? What if that would be that? the case tonight? Would it change your setting? Would it change how you uh, acted tonight uh, in the house of the Lord? Now, uh, I'm just, I want to preach to you a little bit in the scriptures tonight and show you tonight, i never seen this uh, till the other day in the book of Jonah. Everybody's familiar uh, with Jonah. Let me ask you this. How many of you consider yourself to be a worshiper? Amen. You consider yourself to be a worshiper. Well, everybody that's saved, I didn't look around tonight to see who did and who didn't, but everybody that's saved tonight ought to be a worshiper. Everybody that's saved tonight ought to lift up the name of Jesus Christ and edify. Now, Sister Linda, we was going down to, uh, on the church van the other night. Me and Brother J.D. was talking. Sister Linda, she, knows, she said that uh, uh, all of her life, uh, that most of the preachers, and I know what she's saying is right, uh, most of the preachers that we come up under, uh, they told you you had to be run over by a pickup truck before you'd praise the Lord. In other words, you had to be a amen struck by lightning. You had to really feel something, uh, you know, uh, deep, deep. And some of you's got that mind frame right now. Well, I'm not going to do nothing until God, until God did. And I mean, that's all right. But I'm telling you, that ain't biblical. That ain't biblical. You mean to tell me when Job was covered with balls, his children was dead? Amen. His cattle was gone. His sheep. You mean to tell me he felt something when he said the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God is wanting his church to honor him. The world and uh, the heroes of the world, they get their honor tonight. They get their praise tonight. And I'm ashamed to say that there's a deafness in the house of God. Let me read this chapter 2 and we won't... Uh, be before you just a minute. The Bible said in, in Jonah chapter number two, it said, uh, then Jonah prayed unto the Lord, uh, his God out of the fish's belly. Jonah's in a mess right now. And said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord. And he heard me. 
Out of the belly of hell cried I, and thou heardest my voice. Sometimes we feel like we're there. For thou hast cast me into the deep and in the midst of the seas and of the floods can pass me about all the billows of the waves passed over me. Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight. Yet I will look again toward thy holy temple. The waters can pass me about. Even to the soul, the depths closed me round about. The weeds were wrapped about my head. I went down to the bottoms of the mountains. The earth with her bars was about me forever. Yet hast thou brought up my life from corruption, O Lord my God. When my soul fainted within me, I remember the Lord, and my prayer came in unto me, unto thee, into thy holy temple. They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. But I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that that I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. And the Lord spake unto the fish, and it vomited out Jonah upon the dry land. That's all that we'll read tonight. Yes, Amen. And uh, I believe what the Bible said. Amen. I believe that uh, there was a fish that God had prepared uh, for Jonah. Amen. Somebody may say, well, uh, a man can't live in a well. And that's right. We understand that. Uh, but this well was different uh, than all the fishes of the sea. Amen. It was prepared by God, a uh, brother, to, to swallow up the man of God. Amen. To show him, uh, amen, if you have it tonight, to teach him a lesson. Uh, for the Bible said that he was a running uh, from the call of God. Uh, God had told him to go down into Nineveh. Uh, that great city, amen, thousands of souls was down there and God was uh, getting ready to bring judgment, a uh, friend upon them. I don't know why uh, that our preachers won't preach tonight, amen, instead of a uh, brother up a politicking and telling jokes, uh, amen, and trying to how uh, to do this because Nineveh, a uh, brother, it ain't much different than the land that we're living in today, uh, amen, the Bible said that they don't know their left hand uh, from their right hand, uh, Jonah had a job to do and that was to preach. Uh, brother, he, amen, instead of preaching, the Bible said that he went uh, and I'm just gonna go through this real fast uh, because we need to hear it again. Uh, amen, when you get into a place when you rebel against God uh, and you turn your face away from what God said, uh, you too are heading in a place, uh, amen, like Jonah was. The Bible said, uh, amen, that after he, uh, brother, got to bought him a, a ticket down into Tarsus. He, man, he got on a boat and went down that way. And the Bible said that he went down in the bottom of the ship. I noticed that years ago. Hey, man, every time that he, he, man, another verse was written about him. He just kept going down further and further and further. Hey, man, you ain't got but one place to go tonight. And when you get away from God, a friend, and that's down, down, down. And the Bible said that. And the storm arose. Amen. They begin to toil and to try to, amen, to give the lad the boat back to land. But they couldn't do it. The Bible said that they woke up old Jonah and Jonah confessed to him what was wrong. The Bible said that he, amen, was just a man that was running from God. And the scripture said that they toiled real hard, but they never could get it to come to land. So Jonah said, I'll tell you what, do boys, and just take me up to the end of the boat and just throw me overboard. Amen. Then the sea will come. Well, they didn't want to do that to Jonah. But brother, they realized and seen, amen, that they was a storm. Brother, that was concocted by God. Amen. That man couldn't do anything against. And now let me say tonight, there's going to be a storm. Amen. When you rebel against God, the Bible said the soul, amen, the rebellion, it's the sin of witchcraft. Crab, how does not does God delight in offering and sacrifice more than He does in obedience? If God said don't do it, that's exactly what He means. If God says to do it, that's exactly what He means. Amen. You don't need to call everybody, a brother, and ask them about this and that. Of the Spirit of God that's on the inside of you, it'll lead you and guide you into all truth and righteousness. Amen. But Jonah did exactly. Opposite of what God said to do. And the Bible 
Bible said, amen, that God, after they throwed him over in, to that ocean, and the Bible said that God had prepared a great fish. And now you think about that, amen, here come that big whale. I've seen a few whales before, amen, when we went to Alaska, I mean, Sister Christy, it's a, it's a, it's a marvelous sight. And to see an animal about as big as this church building, I guess that's about the size of what it was. A brother that swallowed up old Jonah. Old Jonah knew when he went inside. A brother that his life was over. Amen. But here tonight in chapter number two, we find a man that's alive. A brother inside of a fish. And the fish is going down. Amen. Down into the bottoms of the mountains. Down into the bottoms of the earth. And there he is. Amen. And old Jonah knew and recognized the thought that if he would turn his face, brother, somehow toward Jerusalem, the Bible said when Solomon prayed that prayer, that if any of the children of God, that they be disobedient. I read what it says in chapter two. He said, yet will I look again toward thy holy temple. So he's looking now, amen, down in the belly, brother, down inside the fish, and now he's looking again toward Jerusalem. But that ain't what made the fish sick. Amen. You know what it means to vomit? That means you're sick. But the Bible said, that old Jonah said, I'll make a sacrifice, a brother of thanksgiving unto God. And I will, amen, give my vow unto God of the thing that I've offered him. And I'll bless his name. And the Bible said that he made the fish, a brother sick, that he vomited Jonah up upon the ground. Amen. That's something that makes the devil vomit in their day and time. He don't like to see God's people. I praise the Lord. He don't like to see the children of God come into the church with victory. I know tonight some of you have worked hard. A brother labored long. Amen. A lot of hours. Sometimes it's not as easy as it is some other times. But I'm going to tell you tonight, before you leave Antioch, one thing you ought to do tonight, you ought to praise God with everything you got in you, and you ought to magnify the name of the Lord. You don't have to feel, Brother Pentecost, do you think that I feel Pentecost every time that I get up to preach? No, sir. But there's one thing that makes, amen, the fish still sick. Brother, when God's people come through the door with one thing in mind, and that's to edify the name of Jesus, and to lift up the name of the Son of the living God. He's worthy on the worst day of your life. He's worthy for you to open your mouth and to say, I will bless the Lord at all times. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Amen. Let's look at it now. The Bible said that Hezekiah, amen, he's sick. A lot of you may not know this, but I found it one time reading the Bible and I thought, man, what a detail was left out. When I heard most preachers preach it, all they preached was Hezekiah. By the Isaiah the prophet, I come to him and said, Hezekiah, I set your house in order. And you're gonna die and not live. Well, the Bible said that Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and said, God, you remember how that I've lived and you know how that I've acted. And God said to Isaiah, I go back and tell Hezekiah that I've added 15 years unto his life. Well, brother, most of the time the story's ended right there. But let me tell you, Hezekiah had a little bit bit more to say. He said, God, I will offer my thanksgiving and pay my vows unto you. He said, for in the graveyard, there's no worship going on there. In the graveyard, brother, there's a deadness there. And nobody's saying, bless the Lord. And nobody's saying, hallelujah. That's why I wanted to live. I love to worship the Lord. How about you tonight? Do you love had to worship Jesus. Or do you love tonight? Amen. To glorify the Lamb of God with all of your heart.
heart with all of your soul. I've got something I need of the Lord to do for me. I do. I've got something right now. I need God to move in. What are you going to do, preacher? I'm going to bless him tonight with everything I've got. I'm going to praise him tonight with all that's inside of me and hope that he will hear from heaven and say, I hear a voice down yonder on that river. They're magnifying me with all of their heart, with all of their soul. And I'm not just doing it to get a miracle, but praise God. Amen. Miracles come when people open their mouth and begin to glorify God. If old Jonah had enough sense inside of the belly of a well, a seaweed, a man wrapped around his head, wrapped around his neck. How bad can you get? That's pretty bad. But Jonah said, hey, preacher Jason, let me testify and give thanks unto God. And when he did that, the fish vomited him up. I'm going to tell you tonight, God's awaiting on some of you. I praise his holy name. If I had one vision from any of house of prayer and I had one goal, it would be to have a church that wouldn't ashamed of the Lord. A church, amen, that had one thing in mind and that's to glorify God. You want to see a sinner get under conviction. Let a saint of God start shouting and praising the Lord. You want to see a sickness get afraid and cancer and disease get afraid. Let somebody start praising the Lord. The devil can't handle it. Was it not Jesus that was going into Jerusalem riding on the back of a mule and the Bible said the children hollered out Hosanna! Hosanna! Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. That old devil raised up that night and said, hey, make the disciples be quiet. But I heard Jesus say, if these all the peace of the rocks and the hills and the mountains, they'll cry out. Well, I read that one time and I realized he didn't die for a rock. He didn't die for a mountain, but he died for me. Therefore, I'll open up my mouth and I will break her bows in the Lord all the day long. Seven times a day, I'll bless his name. Glory to God. He that sits on high is worthy of all praise and honor and glory. I want you to know he's worth everything you can invest in him. He's worth everything. He loves you. He still loves you. And we tonight ought to give everything we got and to worship him and to praise his name. Amen. Hallelujah. I never read one time where Saul was a worshiper. No. How about you? I never read one time where Saul stopped and made a praise and an offering unto the Lord. I bet I read where David, when the Ark of the Covenant was coming back to Jerusalem, I read where the singers were singing and the instrument people were playing their instrument and David danced before the Lord. Somebody said, preacher, I can't do that. Amen. Oh, yeah, you can. That brother, he'll put dancing in your feet. You just got to lose your shame. And you get somebody said, preacher, I'm afraid of what they may think about me. Amen. Well, let me tell you what they think about you. I think if you're cold, if you don't ever do nothing. Amen. How about that? Hallelujah. Amen. Every once in a while, they ought to be a grumble in your belly. I just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And David danced before the Lord until his clothes fell off. Amen. As somebody said, wouldn't that vulgar? I wouldn't that such vanity? Amen. Michelle said, I was not the king. I gorgeously appelled before the daughters today in Jerusalem. And David said, what I did, I did it under the Lord. And I'll tell you the next time this thing happens, I'll be more vile than this. Brother, you've got to lose track of what people say about you, what people think about you, and honor God, and lift 
his name up on high. It's still making the fish vomit. It's still making the glory come down in the sanctuary. When Zion begins to lift up their king, there's a shout of a king that gets in the camp and the enemy shakes and the enemy trembles because he don't know how to handle when there's true heart worship before God. Amen. Hallelujah. You're trying to put it in me? No. I'm just preaching tonight for you to go home and think about what I'm preaching. Amen. God wants you to praise him. Some people go to church. Amen. See what everybody's wearing. Some people go to church. It's the truth. Amen. Just to soothe their conscience. Some people's got boring lives. And they ain't got no hobbies and they ain't got nothing else better to do. Amen. They just go to church to occupy the pew. They don't care for meetings three hours or five hours. Amen. They ain't got nothing else better to do. And that's a shame. Amen. But it's just the way that it is. But then they some that remembers where they was when God found them. There's some that remembers the pit from which God came down to where they was at. They some that remembers the sin and the chains that held them down. And they know the Redeemer has redeemed them with loving kindness and showed mercy to them. And brother, they're under a contract. They're under a vow. They've got to praise the Lord. They've got to magnify him. Oh God, amen, it'll do you so good. Oh, you say, preacher, I just can't do it. Well, let me tell you what I do. I go home and read the Psalms. Amen, read them out loud. I read four or five of them a day. Amen. When you get done reading them, I just look up in your barn. I look up in the sky when nobody are watching you and start thanking the Lord. You can do that, can't you? Amen. Sure you can. And just keep on doing that. Go back the next day and do it again. Go back the next day and read five or six more psalms. Hallelujah. I read what David. That's why God said, I'm looking for a man after my own heart. What was your heart, God? Hey, man, it wasn't a tempo. Our brother, we thought it might have been David. I wanted to build him a house, but God knew the house, hey, man, would be torn down. But what God desires was an offering, not of a bullock or a goat. It was an offering of a sacrifice, a praise. Hallelujah. You say, preacher, you don't know what I'm going to. It's not a sacrifice a praise when it's easy. It's not a sacra, but I dare you. Amen to let hell see you. I lift your hands. I dare you. I to let hell see you. I glorify God. Right in the midst of what you're going through, the devil can't handle it. He don't understand it. The angels look into it, but it's for God and God's children tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Bless his name. That's why. Bless you, Lord. It's between her and the Lord. That's why the walls fell. It was an 